Where's that music coming from? All right. All right. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe for more updated videos on my post-op surgery. So as many of you know, I had surgery on Monday, March 18th, and today is Saturday, March 23rd. So I am five days post-op. I'm giving you guys an update. I was gonna do um, a three-day post-op video, but that was a little too soon. I was still, you know, getting in the routine. They kept me in the hospital for two days uh, just to monitor me and monitor my asthma because anesthesia usually gives me asthma attacks. They released me and I really needed to get in the routine of being at home, you know, still drinking water and walking around and things like that and managing my pain. But let me start from the beginning. So I went to the hospital on March 18th, Monday, and I had the surgery. I had my VSG. The surgery only lasted an hour, something that the surgeons told my family when they uh, got done with my surgery was that my stomach was really small and that I'm supposed to be a tiny person. <laughs> We knew that because my arms are short, my legs are short, I'm a short person, I've got a short torso, um, things like that. Really, the surgeons really want me to focus on um, getting to my goal weight, the weight that I'm supposed to be for my height and my body stature. They really want me to get down to that goal weight. So I'm going to do my best, and I think so far it's going well because I have lost 10 pounds within these five days already. Um, I was really shocked. I just Emily got on the scale yesterday and it was I was 10 pounds lighter for these first seven days clear liquid diet only nothing else so I've been eating vegetable broth I've been eating sugar-free jello which is also what they gave me in the hospital was chicken broth and sugar-free jello I've been eating um sugar-free popsicles and ice that's really it um in my water that's all I've been taking in for the past five days. With this program, on Tuesday, they will be introducing me to soft foods. So things like yogurt, applesauce, beans, um, cheese, cottage cheese, peaches, um, things like that is what I'll be able to eat starting Tuesday. There is no parade stage of food with this program, but if I feel like I need to, then I will go ahead and throw some chicken into the blender and eat it that way. So as for what I've been focusing on is, and something that I really, really want to emphasize is exercise so that you can move the gas. When you have bariatric surgery, they pump your stomach full of air and the, that air can hurt more than the actual incisions um, on your stomach. Like it, it's, it can be really intense. So I highly recommend walking, 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 walking as much as you can, as much as you can tolerate basically because it's going to move that gas and that's exactly what I've been doing and that's exactly what's been happening. Yesterday I had my first bowel movement since my surgery, since Monday, so it took about four days for that to happen but I had started to pass gas before that, thankfully. Um, I was burping but one of my surgeons said that burping doesn't really count. They really want to focus on you moving air out the other end. So thankfully that has started to happen the more I got up and walked. Um, you know, it can be really easy to just want to lay in bed after you've had surgery, especially this intense of a surgery, but I do not recommend that. I'm at home now and I'm walking around the house uh, multiple times. At the hospital, there's a circular track that's about 100 feet long and I was walking that while I stayed in the hospital multiple times so I started with two because I would get really dizzy then I got to three then I jumped up to seven then I jumped up to ten and I would do that multiple times throughout the day just walking that a hundred feet over and over and over and over and over so now that I'm home we actually have something kind of similar um, our kitchen is kind of centered in the house so I just walk through the kitchen the living room the dining room kitchen living room dining room and I just do it over and over and over that has helped me so much yeah the next thing that I would say is the next most important thing that I've been focusing on would be hydrating 
hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Take your time, however, push yourself. Don't make yourself sick, but really try to get in those 64 ounces of water. Another thing I don't think people talk about that much is your taste buds changing and mine changed immediately. I was able to eat chicken broth that my mother had bought me the day before my surgery. And when I got home, I couldn't tolerate the chicken broth. It was just disgusting to me. It smells nasty. So what I have been eat, drinking, eating, is this Sam's Choice Organic Vegetable Broth gluten-free and I don't season it with anything. I love this stuff. You can find this at Walmart. Now when it comes to drinking is what I was mentioning. I could drink these normal you know bottles of water before my surgery, after my surgery. They're disgusting. Like I they just taste horrible. It just tastes like acid or something. It has like a metallic taste. I can't even describe it. So what I've been drinking are these Hint Blackberry water infused waters. They're literally sugar free, no calories, no sodium, no carbs. It just has literally a hint. <laughs> it has a hint of some fruit. So this one is Blackberry. They also have pineapple and a bunch of other um, variations of this water. But this water is a lifesaver. So I've been working on drinking four of these every day. It's been really hard, but I try my best. And um, I highly recommend you guys go get these. You can get them from Target. <laughs> you can get these from Target. You can get them single or in cases. Remember, I highly recommend you guys remember this is called Hint. It's perfect. What I'll also do for my water intake is I will infuse my own hint water. I'll throw some strawberries and berries inside of my little shaker bottle that my mom got me plus the hint water and it's just amazing. It doesn't have a weird taste. I can tolerate it. It's actually really, really good. Of course, no added sweeteners, none of that. It's just the natural fruit flavored water, fruit infused water. Next thing I want to talk about is to, it's more of just like a reminder, which would be give yourself time to rest. Something that has been really, I didn't think it would be that hard for me, but I've been tired. It's just been harder to like, oh, okay. You know, I have to heal. I have to let myself heal. I have to keep reminding myself, you just had surgery on Monday, Shan. It's only been five days. Let yourself rest, let yourself heal, let your body get used to this huge change that was just thrown upon it. I was getting a little impatient with myself sometimes, which is normal, that happens. But yeah, let yourself heal. I did want to mention that the worst day when it comes to pain was the first day. That very first day, I was so groggy and out of it. But they gave me Tylenol, just one single 325 milligram Tylenol, and it actually worked. I was really surprised by that. Yeah, after that first day, each day I got better and better to where, you know, I could do this, I can do that, I can, you know, go to the bathroom by myself, I can, um, you know, of course in the hospital they still monitored me. My strength was building after that first day. I would say don't be worried about the pain because, like I said, for me personally, that first day was the the worst day. And it wasn't even that bad when I think back to it. But, you know, you've got all these drugs in you. You were just cut open. <laughs> Give yourself some time. Take that first day. Rest. They're going to tell you, you know, drink water, drink water. But just be patient with yourself on that first and second day as well. Um, I had very little nausea. I wasn't nauseated that much at all really. I've actually since I've gotten home I've been a bit more nauseated than I was at the hospital. At the hospital I felt pretty normal. It was just you know like I said that first day um, I had some pain but I wasn't really nauseous at all. Since I've been pushing water, I've had more nausea than I did while I stayed in the hospital because I've really been pushing water and my mom always has to remind me, slow down, Shan, slow down. You just had surgery. So <laughs> if you guys can hear her in the background, she's screaming, sip, yes. That's what she's been screaming to me and saying repeatedly sip Shan sip your water sip your water because I'm like I'm gulping it <laughs> which is not a good idea I don't recommend that I get dizzy I get nauseous don't gulp your water right after you have surgery don't do it something I will say I've really had to be mindful of how much air I swallow I didn't know before this surgery 
I naturally swallow a lot of air when I'm eating, when I'm drinking. It's horrible. So I've been really trying to monitor that as well. Because then I'm burping more. I feel it in my stomach. It's just very uncomfortable with when I have extra air that doesn't need to be there. If I could just control the air that I'm swallowing. But yeah, that's really it. Anything else you think I should talk about, Mom? <laughs> she said, you're doing great. Yeah, that's really it. I'm doing pretty great. That's how I feel. I feel pretty great. Like I said, I had that 10 pound weight loss shocker. That just shocked me. Everyone who commented on my first video, I do want to thank you for all of the positive words and kind words that you said. I really appreciate it. And everyone who DM'd me on Instagram, I appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Or like I said, you can DM me on Instagram. I've been answering all of the DMs I've been getting um, regarding the surgery. So yeah, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. I will come back and make a video after uh, my post-op class on Tuesday where they're going to be giving me food. They're actually going to be feeding me either cottage cheese, beans with cheese, and peaches. So I'll come back and let you guys know how that goes. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Bye!